Hello everybody, Jane Jones here with Cash Amount Coffee Cleaning. I'm here with Don Jones, he's our mold expert. So, so Don, tell me today, what should we not do when we have visible mold? Well, some of the things that you, that are, you should not do. Uh, you should not leave the door wide open in the room that you're working in. Close the door, seal the bottom with the towel. Uh, not to let any air air out. When you're done in there, make sure you close and seal the door with plastic. Certainly don't blow a fan in there. That's the worst thing you can do, and I see that on jobs that I'm called into that other companies have set up, and there's issues. And I'll go in there, and there's three or four air movers going, and there's still visible mold on the walls of the studs. And uh, they're just blowing it around the whole living environment, contaminating the whole home. So those are several things that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't go in there with a a wrecking bar and a hammer and start breaking it out. It needs to be cut out properly. It needs to be sealed with plastic. If it's less than 10 square feet, you cover the area with a plastic bag, you tape it off, and you cut out around the contaminated area if you're going to take it out. You break it up into small pieces, put it in the bag, tie it up, and get it out of the dwelling. You keep the exposure to the rest of the house at a very minimum. Thanks, Adam. And what, what about bleach? Did you talk about bleach? Because I use bleach on my mold. Bleach does not kill mold. Bleach will actually clean the excrement that mold leaves behind after it eats. Uh, mold will grow a root system called hypha, approximately 16th of a millimeter into the sheetrock. So the, the spores are still viable if you wipe it down with bleach. And a lot of times dead mold spores are just as irritating to somebody's immune system or respiratory system than the live mold spores. So remediation needs to take place and the mold stores, the mold spores need to be taken from the building in order to create a safe, healthy environment for the family. Great, thank you. And so will you come into my home and take a look and see what's going on? I will uh, check your home for visible mold, give you recommendations. Uh, if there's water intrusions, I have the meters, the infrared camera. We can scan the home and see uh, if there are any water issues, I can give you recommendations on how to fix your problem. If it's uh, drainage around the home or leaky pipes, uh, a chimney chase is leaking, we can find out these problems and correct them. Because if you don't correct the problems, you're just going to continue to have mold growth in your home. So number one, you need to fix the, the water intrusion. Great. Thanks very much, Don. We'll talk to you next time. Okay, Jane.